Hi Taurus, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the rules can be resting between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. Again, these are general readings, not personal, so not everything is going to resonate with all of you. Keep that in mind, please. Again, claiming a reading is not mandatory. If it doesn't fit, does not fit and just let it go. And perhaps next week's reading will fit better with you. Again, I love you so much and fun fact i did get i ordered two shirts and i don't know i thought i ordered a different shade of like you know the same design but a different shade and i ordered the same color so i have two exact same shirts <laughs> that i'm gonna wear this today and i'm gonna wear the other one tomorrow or perhaps the same one i just have a washer and a dryer and i know how to use it right well perhaps the other one tomorrow so yeah, i just wanted to say that anyways let's dive in so we got the nine of wands here. We got Leo Sagittarius um, energy, Aries energy. We got the eight of cups right here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have da 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 the hangman right here. I see Virgo energy for some reason. Then we got the five of wands again. A lot of fire today here in your reading Taurus. Then we have the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords in the reverse. This could have been an air sign. This could be Pisces. I'm sorry. This could have been Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Swords in the reverse. Again, it's screaming air sign here. So let's see what's good. Let's see what happened with you and whoever he was, right? So I feel like you gave your heart to somebody. You opened up and this person took you for granted. This person that cheated on you. This person perhaps rejected you. Whatever it happened, it did hurt you very very much it was you are you were heartbroken and i see that you are tired of being heartbroken you're like you know i'm just tired of opening up being myself giving it all to somebody and boom they do the same thing they promise me that they wouldn't do the hey man uh it got you very confused and perhaps uh it got you <coughs> giving or having a different perspective and in, in love i feel that it makes you uncomfortable opening up to people because you fear that they're going to stop you because you have been open about your problems or insecurities to people that you are dating and you do it with the intention of people knowing that you don't want that to happen to you right so you believe in communication and you go like well if i told them this maybe perhaps it won't you know they will respect it and they won't do it to me and it seems to be that now you're just reflecting if you should open up to anybody about anything because every time you do they don't listen and they end up doing exactly what they promised you they wouldn't right with the five of ones and the page of pentacles right here it seems to be that you fought a lot not a lot of people but perhaps opinions about this person perhaps that you were told that this person was not the one for you that it was not worth your time and you still want to give them a chance uh because you believed in them right you believe that your love could change them and then you realize it didn't right but hold on also it seems to be that there was competition uh very strong competition here in between you and other people for this person's attention and it was very draining and exhausting with the wheel of fortune it was a back and forth of the situation like on the loop and it was like a never ending with the three of swords right here this person was always doing things that will break your heart maybe promise you that they wouldn't do it again or that they were going to change and they never did because you were always going back to the same excuse me the same um stage of like oh i promise you i wouldn't do that and they do it again so it's like it was very hard for you, so you forced yourself to move on. Herman energy, Virgo energy, you decided to, little by little, moving on, moving on from them. But I feel like you're still on the process of healing. You're still on the process of, like, trying to move on. Or at least in the situation, you were in the, still in the same process of, like, trying to move on. Because you did care for them, you know? And you could go, we humans don't have a switch of, like, let's stop loving this person now. You know? It doesn't work like that. So, I get it. Well, the high priestess here, let's see, in reverse Pisces energy and king of swords right here. Um, again, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here. So I feel like you did even ignore your intuition. You ignore your ancestors, perhaps your guides, just to give this person a chance. And this person, because you wanted to believe that this person was the one you never achieved the happiness that you thought this person was going to give you because you saw the red flags and you decide to ignore it because you thought you know people could change but this person didn't want to change perhaps or 
it's very hard for people to change, to be honest, especially when they're adults. So, I don't know. How is this person feeling towards Taurus right now? Nine of Swords in reverse. Again, an air sign. Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Eight of Cups right here. So this person right now is not looking back, unfortunately. They're not looking back towards you. They're not trying to make the effort i don't see them moving in or trying to do anything right now uh, with the nine of ones they're unwilling to accept that they hurt you they're unwilling to take um accountability of what they did it's like they know but they don't want to you know they just don't want to because they're too proud because you know they have to admit they were wrong they gotta fix something so right now we are in the energy that they know what they did but they're not doing anything about it with the eight of cups right here they're actually taking their cup elsewhere. They're trying to move on from you or trying to go elsewhere, you know, finding, they perhaps found somebody else. I feel that this person, like I said before, they, there's no little to no communication. This person is not putting the effort in to talk to you. This person is not putting the effort in calling you. Um, this person is um, having fun or, you know, trying to, you know ignore the fact of what they did with younger people there's like younger energies um, here younger than you younger than them with the queen of swords right here it could be you waiting for this person to approach you at the same time this could be this person wanting you to approach them because this person is like too stubborn to do so they're telling you right now to the best thing for you is to not reach out to them because if they are the one for you or if they want you it has to come from their energies because you did nothing wrong again you're not a saint they're not a saint either but when we're talking about facts what they did was very wrong and your reaction towards it had a reason so no they want you to be strong and to not give in to your emotions for this person because this person it is a trickster this person is a player fuck boy fuck girl you know it's giving me the vibes of like a player fuck again fuck boy fuck girl Is this person can is this person this is this person can this person be trusted? Can this person be trusted? The four Aries energy in reverse. They said no. They cannot be trusted. Judgment. The Knight of Pentacles. Every time you give this person a chance, you're gonna find out something and it's not gonna work. Why can't this person be trusted? Why can't they be trusted? This person, like I said, have other people's involved, like other energies. Um, they're like, it could be a mama's boy, a mama's girl, you know, a mama's boy. Um, mama's girl, like I said before. Um, so for some reason, they think they have the power. It's like, I don't know, they have this um, airs of like superiority. They're like come to me fight for me i'm not doing nothing i'm too good like they have like this ego i don't know nasty ass attitude um even the question of like can you apologize can you do something is out of the picture for them they're not kind they're not that kind of person they're not they're not like you see they're not even trying to fix anything i know if other readers says oh they love you they're coming in i'm sorry I don't see this here. With the two of ones, they're telling you to, it's best for you to invest your energies elsewhere. Because this person is doing that. This person is actually um, not even trying to apologize to you. They're just like keeping up with their life, you know? You see? They know they're guilty. They know they should say sorry, but they're just ignoring it. With the moon right here, they're very shady. You can't trust this person, Pisces energy. With the Nine of Cups right here, they're being entertained by other people. This person can even be going to strip clubs. That's how much they don't care about nothing. They could be going to strip clubs as well. Hold on. Well, like I said, they're shady. They're shady. They still have other energies. They're like, I don't know, other people. So, I don't know. They're not worth waiting. They're not worth... Um, fighting for it could be that you're spying on their stuff and their social media it could be the other way around look at this is devil in reverse capricorn energy this energy is shady as hell scorpio energy here uh libra energy as well um 
you're gonna get stabbed in the back again this person is not changing their ways so no they cannot be trusted that's why they cannot be trusted like please don't trust this person i know i know this is the kind of reading that people suck um i know i suck by giving you this reading i know you don't like it but it is what it is let me fix my hair while you do that okay hold on so. so let's see what was the purpose of this person being in my beautiful Taurus life yeah, Ace of Cups King of Pentacles the Death card and reverse the Six of Pentacles Scorpio Energy okay so they wanted you to love yourself first and be able to walk away from things that are not worth your time pretty simple right they wanted you to know that you are capable of loving and you know sometimes we don't know how much we can really love somebody and how much we can give to that person and this person shows you the universe showed you this person that looked good felt good but it wasn't it wasn't it and they are just wanting you to they wanted you to show yourself that you love yourself first and you can actually walk away from even though something that you really want in it that you're able to put a boundary and say hey it's not worth my time i'm done they wanted you also to give your time of day and emotions to people who are worth it, who people are who are asking for it. And when people don't do that, to be able to not look back and move on, take yourself and leave just like that. The purpose was for you to show yourself that you are able to create and have boundaries and that you're able to not take BS from people. And when things are not right, to sit on your throne, your energy and just pretty much walk away and be like, even though that I'm not strong enough, I'm not weak enough to take what's less than what I want and be ready to embrace the new. It's pretty much to not be afraid. What, what I will say, do not be afraid of people who are not afraid of losing you. That's pretty much it. And what is the outcome for my beautiful Taurus about the situation? You're going to actually meet somebody new. I see number two being important. This could be a fire sign. This could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. This person could be younger than you or a younger energy or somebody that is very fun. Or maybe a little bit immature, you know, but somebody new coming your way. <clears throat> With the Page of Swords, it's going to be kind of like a little bit difficult because this person um, seems to be good to be true. Perhaps the age difference uh, feels like, should I, should I take them? Should I not take them? You know? So it's telling you right here that even though with the Page of Swords, this could also be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, even though that you really do not know exactly how things will end, it's pretty much to take a risk because you will never know if you don't try. That's pretty much what they want you to do. With the Seven of Cups right here, you believe there's no options, right? You believe there's no options. But they're going to show you very soon, Gemini Energy, that there is somebody out there that you don't know yet. I feel like this person is not here yet. It's not here yet. This person is in the future. So future is not today. It's somewhere down the road, but not today. There's somebody in the future that could actually give you everything you ever wanted in a relationship. Somebody that's willing to do the give and take mutually and giving you the same loving love that you want and that you're able to give. And this person is not here just yet. So it's telling you right here to to wait for the right person because it is coming your way i see yellow which is like for me peace clarification clarity not hostility not holding back and i feel that this person could be from far away as well like physically far away this could start as a long distance relationship and somebody's gonna move with the other person you know and like i said before it's not gonna be the same as the past and the hermit and reverse virgo energy you're not going to be heartbroken and this person like i said it's a little bit far from you this could also be a cancer energy here but like i said before in the future it could take like up to like 11 months before you meet this person so it's going to be in the mix right there's somebody in your future coming in it's nothing to do with the past and again coming in is a fire sign it seems to be like a fire sign for you so hope that helps so let's see let's see what affirmations i can give you beautiful tours thank you spirit thank you spirit at the bottom of the deck we got this beautiful deck here beautiful card like that 
and he says, I know that I deserve wonderful things. Say it again. This is the first, first manifestation, and he says, I know that I deserve wonderful things. And he says, say it again. Say it with me, Taurus. I know that I deserve wonderful things. I am worthy. Once again, I know that I deserve wonderful things. I am worthy. Then we got this beautiful deck here. I mean, card here. And it says, I know that my future self will thank me for the hard work. I am doing the work. I know that each breath confirms that I am alive and far from finished. I'm just getting started. I know that I do not need the I know that I do not need to avoid making others uncomfortable by playing small. I'm taking up space. Beautiful right here. Beautiful. I know that pure joy is the result of being alignment with my soul. I am true to myself. Beautiful, beautiful. This says, I know that my finances will be taken care of even when I don't see how I'm secure. I know that it's important to celebrate each win, no matter how big or small. I am celebrating me. And last one, it says, ouch, that didn't say that, I just hit myself. <laughs> I know that I do not need to wait for 5 p.m. on a Friday to be happy. I am happy right now. So that is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back this week with more readings. I love you so much. You guys have a blessed night. Bye.